Good morning. This is a live view in the International Space Station Flight Control Room located at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. You're seeing the Orbit 2 team at their stations and monitoring the uh, vehicle systems. This is the Orbit 2 team being led by Flight Director Chris Edelin, shown here in the center of your view. And uh, to his right is veteran astronaut Shannon Lucid, who is serving as the voice of the flight control team. That uh, console position is known as the CAPCOM, and uh, they represent the flight crew office as well as the uh, flight control team, basically the liaison between the two, helping to facilitate the activities. On board, the Expedition 30 crew is at work and all the activities going smoothly. They're in the early to mid-afternoon of their crew day. The International Space Station is just making its way over the uh, on a southeasterly track over the southern Pacific Ocean. As you can see from this view, it's a uh, in-orbital night, but just minutes from crossing over the uh, Terminator line to the orbital day. The vehicle experiences 16 sunrises and sunsets each 24-hour period. Inside the International Space Station, the Expedition 30 crew of Commander Dan Burbank and cosmonauts Anton Shkeplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin are at, uh, at work in their afternoon activities. Everything is going smoothly on board the International Space Station. At this time, Commander Dan Burbank is working in the U.S. segment. He is specifically working on uh, some routine maintenance associated with the waste hygiene compartment. This is a close-in look at some of the equipment that he's been working on. Well, the EDV container that we used for urine, 984, is reflected in the IMF, uh, IMF database only as the cover, but not the shell. I don't know who came with these brilliant ideas to write down the number for the container from inside of the cover. But if you haven't reflected that, then it'll be too boring. But, well, if I take a can knife and open it up, then I can get the number. Otherwise, I don't have it. Well, we're not going to open the the cover. So, well, let's, let us figure it out. Thanks. That a bit of dialogue between Russian cosmonaut Anton Shkeplerov, who is timeline to be performing some activity with the service modules in the Russian segment, and uh, that a bit of discussion with the ground control team as he's working through that activity. Commander Dan Burbank continuing along with his work in the waste hygiene compartment, performing maintenance that includes changing out the urine hose and insert filter. That is all going smoothly and per the schedule. That uh, is a task that was timelined to last about an hour and a half, and he's in the uh, tail end of that activity, working uh, in tandem with the ground control team here, but all the activity going smoothly on that maintenance work. Once he's completed this activity, he'll move on to setup of the onboard ultrasound, which is similar to ultrasounds used here on the Earth that enables them to uh, perform various scans of uh, the human body, and that will be part of a larger uh, task later this afternoon for him as part of the integrated cardiovascular experiment. Today's activity will include setup of that ultrasound as well as performing an echocardiogram with guidance from the integrated cardiovascular ground team. That will take up the bulk of the afternoon for Commander Dan Burbank. He'll wrap up his time with a uh, evening daily planning conference tag up, joined by his uh, counterparts for that, and then some off-duty and personal time. The crew is scheduled for their crew sleep at 3.30 p.m. Central Time. The crew members woke up at midnight Central Time, which is the standard wake-up time for the orbiting crew. They have a routine inspection of the vehicle, and then some uh, personal time for their breakfast and hygiene before they kick off the day's activities with a start of day daily planning conference. This is a look again at that Expedition 30 crew, Dan Burbeck in the center, Anton Skeplerov at the left, and Anatoly Ivanishin on the far right. The morning included a wide array of tasks, including some maintenance work. Burbank also downloaded data from earlier runs on the integrated cardiovascular experiment session. He also performed activation of the 
anomalous long-term effects in astronaut's central nervous system shield experiment, which provides an assessment of the radiation environment inside the International Space Station. Switching now back to a live view in the U.S. segment where Burbank is again continuing uh, the work on the waste hygiene compartment uh, in the last 10 or 15 minutes of that task, all of that uh, going smoothly. Here in the flight control room, the Orbit 2 teams in the early part of their shift, they generally perform their handover from the Orbit 1 team at around 7 or 7.30 a.m. Central Time. All of the activities going smoothly here. Yesterday, while the uh, Johnson Space Center itself was closed due, due to a power outage, the flight control team remained on duty uh, using a backup system. There was no interruption to the space station operations or the uh, ground support here. So all of that going smoothly and the uh, team uh, continuing to do their job as done 365 days a year.